Well, hello, good morning, Tucson Joe here, back for a great day today. We're currently downtown Tucson, about to go walk around down 4th. Uh, that's what us locals here in Tucson call 4th Avenue. That's an historic district down here, uh, downtown. Uh, it's very artsy, very hipster, uh, very hip down there. Um, it was, let's just put it this way, it was hip before hipsters were in diapers. So we're gonna go check that out. It's a, it's a vintage place downtown. We're gonna go see what it's about. Today is Saturday, June 3rd, as the recording of this. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's about 10 o'clock out here in the sunny old Pueblo. I'm gonna go walk around down behind us. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a parking garage right now, obviously. Uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go down 4th Avenue, check it out, tag along. Hope you enjoy. And just kind of the view here from the parking garage real quick. Train tracks right there in the front. The train station is just right around the corner there from us. You kind of pan over, they got some apartment buildings over in there. And then heading into town down this way, down Congress going off that direction. So no real rhyme or reason with the video today other than just walking around 4th Avenue just showing it off uh, as far as like history goes uh, not too much I won't get too much into the history probably uh, but I do have a few spots I do want to shout out show off uh, a couple of places that are there in war a couple of places that are uh, change spots uh, or just a couple of places that I really love so we're gonna go check those out right now so I parked on the second story and I'm walking up right now. The stairs, I want to get you guys a really cool view if I can. We're on the sixth floor now, so we can go up to the seventh. So yeah, this is as far as you can come up to Central Garage on the staircase, floor seven here. Look at that. This is a great view right here. And from the spot I'm at here, I'm going to pull the camera back. I'll show you guys. Just a nice little tight spot right there. right over here you can see kind of the rest this is right at the edge of downtown on Congress and when I did my downtown video the other week I was walking down around there that's Hotel Congress right there Let's see if I can get a little better angle right up these stairs here and slightly better angle there I can't go any further I can't go inside I can't go into like this little area right here to take pictures this is for they have some apartments in here and that's kind of a little um, main area for people to hang out in see the Tucson skyline there very pretty and as I'm walking down the stairs, just kind of wanted to show off that sign there for Centro. I'll show it from the street level here in just a second. And right here you see the sign from the street level. Right there is the second level, right up here where I parked. Kind of way up there, isn't it? <laughs> I do love that sign. This is a good garage to park at if you're coming downtown, especially on the weekend. Uh, Saturdays, I believe it's a $3 flat rate for the day. Sundays, I believe it's $5 flat rate for the day. But then through the, throughout the week, I believe it's like $2 or $3 flat rate throughout the day. That's like till the sun goes down. And again, all that information is on the website. Uh, if you Google Centro Parking Garage Tucson, 
it'll pop up and it'll have all their information, the hours, the rates for those hours, whatnot, you know. Uh, special events downtown, the rate will go up a little bit, but uh, it depends. I'm not sure exactly. Again, you can go to the website and check them out and it'll tell you. All right, so I'm just gonna head down now to Fourth Avenue. We're gonna head down here. So we're gonna head down here and instead of making the left to go onto Congress like we did the other video, we're gonna make a right, go under the bridge and then we'll be on historic fourth. Oh yeah. And you know, I have a few stories coming downtown, you know, as well, but that's back in the day when I used to go out and party a little. Uh, don't do that anymore, thank goodness. But uh, as you can see over here, we we'll have some pretty cool night nightlife out here. Somebody's honking, somebody's not going. <laughs> there they go. So yeah, you have, you have the, uh, the bar over here. Uh, I'm trying to remember the, uh, I'm not sure the name, I don't see it anywhere. So I can just make out the sign in there, Hi-Fi, that's the name of it. So it's kind of uh, open air, kind of a lively spot. Nothing going on right now. Again, it is 10 o'clock in the morning, so everything doesn't open up downtown till about 11. So straight down there is gonna be 4th Avenue. I kinda of have to walk over, walk over there and then walk down that side because that's where the walkway is. Wait, wait, wait. How rude. So just kinda of wanna show this off here, this Prince mural. We wish you heaven. That's another mural right there. That's right across from the Hotel Congress here. Nice little alley. And that's right up here next to the Funky Monk. They have outdoor seating as well. And they are straight across the street from Hi-Fi as well. So the other last week or so when I was downtown I forgot to show this off this is the Amtrak station here in Tucson it's a historical train station a lot of history here at this at this location uh, this is the site where supposedly Wyatt Earp killed Frank Stilwell out on the train tracks out back there and inside here they have Maynard's kitchen Maynard's market probably not gonna go inside today because I'm gonna try and get down on fourth real quick so I can get all that filmed just kind of wanted to show this off here I plan to try and do a more in-depth downtown video going through the history of some of these buildings like this so hopefully that'll be coming soon stay tuned and just real quick since it is right across the street from the train station right over there this is the backside of Hotel Congress they have a little cafe outside Kind of the side view right there and then, then right over there is the front just kind of want to get that shot there real quick it's very pretty with the tree in front okay so i put it off long enough in this video we're going down fourth next time you see me we're on fourth here we go and heading down through the tunnel now and it's a little bit dark but you can see how it is in here it's very nice very cool very chill it's kind of cool to walk through here too. I mean drive through. <laughs> I'm walking right now, but driving through is pretty cool too. And we're almost there. A couple more seconds. So now we are on 4th. Looking down here, you can see it. Walked across the street real quick. Get a little bit better angle down the street. All right, we'll head on down and see what we can find. And just kind of want to showcase this little area here. Used to hold Maloney's back in the back over here and they had a parking lot up front. I'll try and throw some pictures up real quick. They're building uh, an apartment complex here now. Yeah, it used to be a night spot back there. They tore that down and had some, a little bit of shady, shady things happening there. They tore it down. From here you kind of get a, another angle. Right over here is O'Malley's Irish pub and then right back behind it you would go in there was a parking lot right here and then right in the back was the building and I'm trying to put those pictures in right now so hopefully they'll be showing up show you what the property used to look like versus what it looks like now 
And they're building a... Get the crane moving up there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're working on it right now. Not sure when it's supposed to be open, but probably another year or so. It's gonna be apartment buildings, apartment complex. Nice downtown apartment complex right here on the corner. Very prime real estate right here on 4th Avenue. Very prime. Right on the, right on the corner there as you come up under the bridge, it's right there. And from the side of the road, which I walked down on right there, you can see the buildings right there. It's kind of had to wait a second there for traffic and the streetcar to pass. But yeah, those are the buildings right there I was walking next to. You got a Hermano's Bar right there, a neon door next to it. So yeah, right about where this building is right here would be about where the, almost where the location of the original Maloney's was, the building. Maybe it's just slightly in front, but they had a, they had a decent sized parking lot in there. And it was right next to O'Malley's, which sat out in front of it. And we look kind of back over here. Just trying to show off as much of the street as possible. Give, give some of the information that I do know and all that good stuff. Probably won't be too much, but some beautiful buildings down here and just some beautiful, beautiful historic goodness. Oh yeah. You have the sign up there, O'Malley's Bar and Grill, Irish pub. I'm not sure the hours, haven't been there in a long time. Across the street, you've got the Goodwill. It's a very unique Goodwill. Just look at that building architecture. We'll go look at that mural here in a second. That is just something. And that's a Goodwill. Vintage Goodwill. And then straight across the street from the Goodwill, you've got this giant tiki. This is a nightclub spot as well. We'll cross over the street real quick. Looking both ways. So yeah, you got a giant tiki out here. Little nightclub spot. Pretty chill spot. I've been in here several years ago, just kind of chilling. They got like a pool table out kind of over here on the patio and stuff. I was out downtown a few years ago with some friends and we were just uh, walking around. We went to dinner at the Hub back on Congress. And this place is called The Hut, by the way. So yeah, we, we uh, walked down 4th Avenue after having dinner at The Hub and we saw the giant tiki and we walked into the, through the gate here and then right around the corner and they had some cornhole set up and then they had a little patio area and they had like, uh, pool tables on there so we played a few games of pool and just chilled out here at the hut nice nice chill spot that's one giant tiki if I am correct this tiki used to be at a miniature golf uh, place here in Tucson on the east side over on Speedway in Wilmot uh, goodness it wasn't golf and stuff it was uh, something else but I cannot remember the name of it now it's been so many years since it closed I used to go there all the time and just play pool in their little lobby area. They had a couple of pool tables you could play for 25, 50 cents a game. It was fun. It's a giant tiki head. Anyway, that tiki head used to sit out, I believe this tiki head used to sit out at that miniature golf place over on Speedway in Wilmot back in the day. So yeah, just kind of looking over there at the patio, you can almost make it out, but they got them covered. They have some pool tables and stuff. Let me see if I can walk over. Show it just a little better. Yeah, there you go. So that's their patio right there. Nice little, nice little area. And I've also got to mention that 4th Avenue is home to the 4th Avenue Street Fair, 50-year tradition here in Tucson. It's a huge fair. I want to try and throw a picture up here. It covers the entire length of 4th Avenue. They have street food, vendors, arts and crafts, all kinds of stuff out here. It's a little, just a, not a little, but it's a, it's a nice little big street fair out here on 4th Avenue. Just wanted to point that out. And right across the street is Bison Witches. Great sandwiches, great uh, bread bowls, soups, all kinds of good stuff in Bison Witches. Good place to eat. 
And that's the other good thing about 4th Avenue. Uh, 4th Avenue is just a bunch of uh, little shops, uh, little places to eat, places to, to come during the night, to have the nightlife. Uh, it's popping. 4th Avenue during the day, you got people walking around shopping, eating, just hanging out during night. They come down, hang out at the, the bars, nightclubs, the joints, and it's a good time. I just want to kind of show off as much of this mural, mural as I can. It's behind a gate, so I stuck my camera and phone through it to capture it right now. So hopefully I'm getting it all. It's kind of hard to see with the sun as well. Also, you have the streetcar passing in the back. That's a beautiful mural. And they have one on the other side as well. I'll pan over. Got a little shaded area right there. Have another mural. We'll go check that out real quick. And this mural right here is called Together We Thrive. It's done in 2012. And the lead artists are Michael B. Schwartz, assisted by Juan R. Sam, and Brittany S. Funded by Target, Lacey Jarrett, Third Foundation. Check out this. I'm just reading off the what they have written off on the sign there. And there you can see what I was just reading. Kind of hard to read some of the names, but yeah, that's the mural. And to just kind of grab it from this angle here. It's a little courtyard area right here, but they got it all gated off. I'll pull the camera out and show you. So there we go. I pull, just pulled the camera out. So they got this gate up around it and it's locked right now. So I don't know if they'll be opening it probably maybe in a little bit. Oh, here we go. Mike Haggerty Plaza. Mike, honorary mayor of 4th Avenue, dedicated 3-17-2013. Just want to show that off as well. Right out here in front of Mike Haggerty Plaza. They got all these locks. Down here, if you can see it, I know it's a little hard to see. It says, be kind. Then just looking up the street here, you see the hippie gypsy. We're gonna get up there in just a minute. I'll show off that building more. That's kind of a, uh, it's a smoke shop slash hippie emporium. Uh, they sell clothing, uh, smoking paraphernalia, things like that. A little bit of everything like that. Kind of an emporium, as it were. Hippie emporium. Just want to show off the front of this store here. Rustic Candle Company. Got some beautiful lights in the windows. And some excellent tile work as well. Look at that. Very beautiful. And it's right next door to Bison, which is here. Oh, yeah. And next door to Bison Witches, you have the Moon Smoke Shop. It's a local Tucson location here, established in 1976. Get a little better view of the Hippie Gypsy there. Gonna walk around, get a better angle here right now. And just showcasing off some of their artwork here on their shutter. Very cool, very cool. Psychedelic man. Peace and love man. Yeah, man. And I do believe I found the yellow submarine there. That's cool. Right there, you've got the other side of the building. The front door and the mural on the side. You got Hendrix, Morrison, Marley. I believe that's Frank Zappa there. And of course, Abbey Road Beatles. Very cool. Hippie Gypsy's a, eh, it's an okay place to go into. It's pretty cool. I mean, it is partly a smoke shop, so be careful if you do go in there. Just be aware of that. But they do offer clothing, incense, candles, a little bit of everything like that. It's the Hippie Gypsy. No, that's pretty cool. Lots of artists here in Tucson. I love that. Keep doing more of this. I love it.
This building here, just a few years ago, used to be a little pinball place. You could walk in. They had rows of pinball machines in here. And they had a little cash machine. You could take dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, cash it to quarters and go play pinball for a few hours. They have since closed it, I do believe. It's something else now, I'm not sure, but yeah, you'd walk right in there. They'd open up this, this door and just inside two rows, pinball machines. Right next to it is a barber shop in here. 19, established, nine, established 2017. The name of it is 1972. Very weird, but yeah, it's literally right next door to where the pinball place was, right there. And then I've just got to show off this. Walkins, welcome. I know, that was, that was a poor impersonation. I don't do a good Christopher Walken. Does your mother so? And literally right across the street from where I'm standing, right there's the sign. Right over here you have the Sea of Glass Center of Arts. And that's right next to the hippie, or right kind of next to, right behind the hippie gypsy. You also have parking lot over here. Do you believe you have to pay for it? But I'm not 100% on that. Yes, yes you do. I actually see the little machine over there. So yeah, you do have to pay for the parking lot. But there's, there's a lot of parking downtown. Again, I prefer parking in the parking garage where I park. Just simply because it's shaded parking. I don't have to worry about my car getting overheated by the sun, which I prefer that. Uh, and also, you know, it's it's a couple of bucks on a Saturday. You know, you can't beat that. That that's cool. That's cool. Then I'll just show this off here as well with our QR code. Maybe you can scan it and book your appointment. I might try these guys out one day. See how they are. So, 1972, and I just love the old shaving haircut sign. And again, I don't want to make this video too long, but it probably will be a little bit uh, just because there's a lot to show off and I just want to show it in all its beauty and glory down here on 4th. I love 4th. Us locals call it 4th. If you come here and call it 4th Avenue, you're probably not a local. We call it 4th, just, so just so you're aware. And I will say that's probably the coolest mural I have seen today. Oh yeah, Generation Cool. That's right, that's right. Then right next door to it, you have Barker Barker Cider House. Just kind of pan down the street a little bit, show off all its beauty. Right here you have Antigone books, cards, gifts. That's right next to that mural, right where we were there. Just kind of looking down the street, be kind. I love these signs everywhere. Everybody needs to just take a moment. Take many moments out of the day, out of your life, and just be kind. Be kind. Showing off the front window here. They got all kinds of stuff inside, it looks like. Postcards, gifts, books. Not sure if they're open. They are open. 10 to 7? Okay. One of the few places that it opens down here about 10 o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah, it's fun walking down for it. I just love the architecture over here. Over here, you got the Surly Winch Pub. Isn't that just a beautiful building? Just look at that sign. Just beautiful. And right there across the way, you have Caruso's Fine Italian Dining. They've been here in Tucson for as long as I can remember. They're excellent Italian dining. Excellent. And right here, where the Drunken Chicken now resides, this location used to be the original location of Lindy's Burgers here on 4th. Lindy's is famous. I believe they were on the Food Channel Network, uh, Man Vs. Food. Uh, I believe that was where they were at. I might be wrong. I believe that's where they were showcased on. And then I'll show the new location where they are now. Just another quick shot of Caruso's there. Hold on, streetcar pass. All right, we're back. Yeah, Crusoe's is great Italian food. So just across the street, 
right next to this little white building here. It's a little restaurant. That is the new location for Lindy's. So that is the new location for Lindy's. Right there. Best burgers in Tucson, in Arizona, in my opinion. They're great. I'll throw some pictures up there. And then the front door is just right inside there. And they have some of the best burgers in Tucson. I'll throw the pictures up. They have a they have a challenge burger that if you can eat it, I believe you get the entire meal for free. And the thing is huge. I'll try and throw that picture up as well. So yeah, that's that's the in my opinion, the world famous Lindy's. Best burgers. Can't read what it says behind the tree of the something. Probably Southwest. And you can't really see it too well, but it's Best Burgers on the Avenue. Best Burgers in Tucson. Best Burgers in Arizona. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. And right here you have Mr. Head's Gallery and Bar. And I just love the mural that's over here. Kind of reminds me of the Mr. Peanut in human form. Does he not? It's just a cool, cool mural. Then they have a little patio area back there as well. It's what I love about Fourth, all these little outside dining areas. It makes it so beautiful. Just showing that off real quick here. Events coming to Tucson. Across the street you have Sky and Sand. Looks like a vintage clothing store. Might have to check it out. Then right next door to Mr. Heads you have the flower shop. On 4th Avenue. So look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. You got Brooklyn Pizza right there in the middle. Sky Bar on the left. Uh, that's Brooklyn Pizza as well. There's a tattoo parlor, realtor, and then you have Sky and Sand. And I'll kind of pan back down to where we came from, back down that way. Ah, it's such a beautiful day out today. This is a magic shop here. Ooh. I've never noticed that before. I have to check that out. You yeah, have right next to it, Mata Ortiz Pottery. All kinds of cool pottery, artful, decorative needs. And pan over to the other window and you see everything in there. Very beautiful stuff. You can see those. There you have some dates for the street fair, their sponsorships. There we go, there's the dates again. Just in case you missed it the first time. And then right where I was just across the street there, I walked across the street to get in some shade. My phone started to overheat a little, so I had to let it cool down for a minute. We've pretty much reached, not the end of fourth, fourth keeps going a little bit. But we've pretty much reached the end of like the the shops and the the main district uh, there's still some stuff down here but not as much there's mainly a little more houses a little more things like that but yeah all the all the main stuff is down on fourth once you get to about fourth and fifth street that's kind of when it sort of kicks off from being fourth as the shops and the eateries and all that and kind of becomes a little more housing a little more residential area and all that so now I'm just going to walk back down uh, this side of the road uh, from whence we came. We came up the other side of the road. I'm going to go back down this side of the road, kind of capture some of the stuff from that side. And then we might call it a day after that. Uh, I don't know. It's getting a little bit warm, but not too bad. It's still very comfortable out here. It's probably mid low 90s somewhere in there. And it's just it's just about perfect, especially if you're in the shade It's perfect. You got a nice little breeze going. When you're out in the sun, it gets a little bit warm, so be careful with that when you're down here. Bring water, remember that. Bring plenty, plenty of water. 
you're going to come walk around downtown fourth avenue and all that just bring some water with you bottled water or, or you've got your own personal bottle of water bring that with you you know like your own personal water container you know fill that up and bring it with you with ice water and stuff stay hydrated out here in this this heat in this desert and this sun it's a dry heat so it'll it'll drain all your sweat and liquid and everything from your body all the moisture just evaporates very very quick so i'm gonna continue walking down they had some music playing there so i'm not gonna show too much just walk down fourth avenue see what else we can capture real quick and then we'll go from there so yeah sky and sand right here pan over here real quick show you their sign shop local jewelry apparel home goods and just kind of wanted to walk back a little bit from the from the street there they have this beautiful mural here on the back so it's beautiful and there you have the artist in the TT underscore TV Y L O R that's the Instagram title there Yeah, just a beautiful piece of artwork right there. I like how they did that. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no shortage of cool murals. I can say it. <laughs> down here on 4th. Just beautiful artwork. I mean, just walk around, you're gonna see some beautiful stuff. It's worth coming down just for that. Well, I believe that's going to do it for today, guys. Just got in some shade so you could see me a little better. We're going to end the video here, I think, and just call it a day. Hope you had fun walking around forth with me. I had fun walking around filming it for you. Uh, if you want more of this content, please subscribe down below. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Your favorite mural or your favorite part of the video. Um, I hope to have more stuff coming, hopefully, in the future very, very soon. Tomorrow, I plan to go to Trail Dust Town which is a little historical spot on the east side of Tucson, uh, not too far from where I live, actually, which is pretty cool, and it houses Pinnacle Peak Steakhouse. Uh, so it's a cool little shopping center that's uh, historic, and it's uh, done up like an old western town. So I'll take you guys there tomorrow and show that off. Uh, won't be eating at the steakhouse, unfortunately. I'd really love to, but uh, we're just going to be filming Trail Dust Town tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully that happens. Uh, if anything comes up, Hopefully it doesn't. We'll get there. So with that being said, this is Tucson Joe for a great life today or a great day today. <laughs> great life today. Great day today. Signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Okay, just a little bit of bonus footage here. I was walking back down the street and saw this mural, just had to show it off for you guys in all its beauty and glory. It's pretty cool. And of course, bonus, bonus footage. I wanted to capture this up close, up personal. This beautiful mural they did here. <laughs> He-Man and Mr. T and E.T. Superman and the Hulk. And Michael Jordan. And Mario. And Bart. Oh, Bart.